if you think that low voter turnout is a problem, then what's the solution? Well, there's a bunch of different solutions. We could make registration easier, right? Knowing how and when to register is one of the costs of voting. So let's make it easier. If you are allowed to register on the same day when you walk in to vote, that's easier than having to register in advance, right? And we've seen that that has generally increased voter turnout. Most states that allow same-day voter registration do have above average turnout. You can also make voting itself easier, right? You can do things like get rid of voter ID laws so that when you go and show up at the poll, you don't have to show certain types of IDs in order to be allowed to vote. You could do mail-in ballots and make it easier for, app for people to file for absentee ballots. You could also have early voting, right? That lengthens the voting period so you're not all just having to go and vote on Tuesday election day, which maybe Tuesday is inconvenient for you because of work, or maybe you just don't want to stand and wait in a long line on Tuesday. So if we extend the voting period, people can vote at times that are more convenient for them and hopefully not have to wait in line. Now, there is potentially a problem with this because voter um, get out the vote pushes efforts by campaigns to get voters to turn out are centered around Election Day. So if we drag out Election Day, it can spread out those resources and make it out the vote efforts, maybe possibly less effective. We're sort of studying this all now, so we'll find out. Now, another way is just to make sure that you know your vote counts. This can be with get out the vote efforts, right? Candidates may be calling you up and saying, hey, are you, do you have a plan to vote? Because your vote counts. But also maybe different types of ballots uh, or voting. Ranked choice voting may possibly uh, make your vote count a little bit more because unlike with traditional when, you know, yes or no voting, pick one candidate and do you want them or not? And that's it. Um, <laughs> With this, you can, with ranked choice voting, you can rank, which means that if your first choice winner, if your first choice doesn't win, your second choice might, right? Your vote to your now counts to your second choice and so on down the um, rank. Now, there is a bit of a problem with this. It's kind of confusing and you have to know a lot more because you have to know about a whole bunch of candidates instead of just like who your favorite is. So that may possibly increase other costs. So it may or may not ultimately help with turnout. Now, one way that generally does help is to make compulsory voting laws. This means making it a law to vote. And that helps in most countries that enforce these laws. In Australia, where it's strictly enforced and not on uh, this bar chart for some reason, their voter turnout rate is extremely high. It's usually above 90%. And if you think about the sheer size of Australia and how far some people have to travel in order to vote, this is really impressive. Uh, now, notice on this chart, we're really low down on the list, 53.6%. That was our 2012 election. Great voting turnout has gone up uh, both 2016 and then again in 2020. So we did move up on this ranking somewhat. Um, but we do still trail a lot of other nations, and one reason may be because we don't require people to vote. Another thing is our elections are on Tuesdays. We could either move elections to the weekend or make them a national holiday, give people off for election day so that they don't have to worry about going to work. So these are just some ways that we might be able to increase voter turnout.